Hello friends, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the Pharmacy Green Clean Balm Makeup Remover Cleanser. Uh, it's actually the Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I received this in my Ipsy in March and I've been using this for about a week to try it out. I've heard a number of you commenting on this in the comments and I was comfortable enough now to sit down and share my feelings on it because I've not used a product from pharmacy before. I'm going to talk a little bit about the brand. I'm then going to tell you specifically about this product. I'm going to show it in use, which is why I have all of this that I've let dry down on the back of my hand. Some mascaras, different liners, liquid lipstick, so you can see how it does a job of removing makeup. And then I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. And for all of that, there will be timestamps in the description bar down below. To start talking about pharmacy, I'm going to tell you what they say about themselves. They have all these beautiful pictures on their website of farms and fields and just beautiful greenery. And they say it started with a discovery. Pharmacy skincare line features a potent plant called Echinacea Green Envy, which is trademarked, which was first discovered growing in the wild in upstate New York. This plant, which is patented and exclusive to pharmacy, has 300% more natural antioxidants in its roots than regular echinacea, and it's the superhero plant that kickstarted pharmacy. So their point of view here, they say farmer cultivate it plus scientists activate it. So we use cutting edge science to harness the healing power of ingredients found in nature. The result is farm to face skincare that lives up to its full potency and potential through clean, thoughtful formulas. So there's that whole sort of farm to table trend of like eating locally and fresh from farm. So they have the farm to face is what they talk about. So they have a byline here that says locally grown, locally produced. We work with local farmers to ensure that our key ingredients remain potent and are cultivated in a way that's good for the planet. Currently, we partner with Willow Wisp Organic Farm in Pennsylvania and Patton Wall Organic Farm in the Catskills to cultivate our Echinacea Green Envy. The honey in our honey collection is cultivated by our happy, healthy VIBs, very important bees, that pollinate the Echinacea Green Envy flowers, which infuses the honey with powerful antioxidants. Inspired by the bounty of nature, we're always on the lookout for new supernatural ingredients. Stay tuned for more glow-getting goodness. So they talk about their interest in sustainability and how that's part of the farming practices, part of their packaging, managed forest, the inks that they use, uh, and that their jars are all recyclable. And their clean commandments are that they are paraben-free, formaldehyde donor-free, synthetic fragrance-free, phthalate-free, mineral oil-free, and cruelty-free. I've seen other parts of the website where they talk more, and I think it's under formulations, I'll just go there. So they unlock the full power of natural ingredients with farm-to-face skincare. Uh, they talk about there being nothing but beautiful ingredients that are absolutely safe and non-toxic, and there are over 1,300 and counting banned ingredients that they won't use, uh, and they meet strict EU standards. Uh, and they also talk about they have no skin sensitizing synthetic preservatives, no irritating synthetic fragrance, uh, which includes phthalates, no harmful chemical sunscreens, uh, no crude oil byproducts, no irritating foaming agents or emulsifiers. Uh, they don't test on animals. They use real whole ingredients, which is non-GMO ingredients, safe skincare for all. So they formulate with all skin types in mind and one of a kind ingredients straight from the source. Uh, they never stop improving, so they talk about the formulas or the products that they don't use, and then they specifically talk more about how they keep on working on it and keep on evolving. There's a few things that are in here. Um, one is that they talk about formulating for all skin types, and you will see that. They don't have a huge line of products, so it's not like they have a cleanser for oily skin, a cleanser for aging skin, a cleanser for dry skin, or a moisturizer for all these different reasons. They have sort of one size fits all products. There's a few things in here that strike certain chords with me. Um, when you talk about non-toxic and clean, they're really buzzwords, but they don't mean anything. But there's a sort of fear out there about toxic ingredients. And oftentimes people sort of go towards things that are labeled as clean and non-toxic. But you know, what does that really mean underneath? I think there's value in looking at what the ingredients are instead of just these labels. Anything can be toxic in a dose that's high enough. If you drink enough water, you can die from having a toxic dose of water. So when there are certain ingredients 
it's not necessarily that they are toxic. I just, I would look beyond the buzzwords and see what they're saying. I think there's also a thing in there about GMO that I think we've sort of been, anyway, that's outside this channel, but I find it ironic that they talk about not using GMO products, which I know are genetically modified, so there's a whole thing. But there's also a whole thing in there about owning plants and trademarking things that are from nature, while at the same time they have their patented green envy echinacea that only they can use. So uh, yeah. What I will say though that I found very confusing about all that, so you read that and it's like we're all about farming in the states, locally sourced, locally, all this sort of thing. We know our producers, all of that. When I first got this product, before I started doing research on it, I thought this was a K-Beauty product because if you look at the label on here, in bold letters it says made in Korea, distributed by Pharmacy Beauty, LLC, Englewood, New Jersey. So if it's made in Korea, they are taking all these locally sourced products that are here, flying them to Korea. I don't know if that's because they want sort of the K-Beauty label or if it's just cheaper to make there and then bringing it back again and distributing from here. So there's a part of that that is... Um, they're giving the feeling that the whole thing is sort of done locally in the States when apparently that's not the case, or at least maybe it's just the sample. I don't know. Um, and I feel like if you've got this whole locally sourced, you know, locally made organic kind of thing going, then you should also locally support having it actually all made in that area. Neither here nor there, just that I was very confused when I went to their website and saw how much of it was about like upstate New York and being local when I totally thought it was going to be a Korean beauty brand. So they are entirely skincare uh, and not a huge range of products and the pricing is high, like it's definitely kind of what you would pay at Sephora, but it's not like crazy luxury. So they have a antioxidant hydrating mask uh, called Honey Potion that is $38 US. Uh, all natural deodorant stick that is $15 US, a AHA resurfacing night serum with honey and flower acids, which is $58 US. Um, they have a beeswax lip balm, which is $10 US, which is pretty high for a lip balm. Um, and they have a honey drop lightweight moisturizer for $45 US. So you can see that it's in those skincare prices of what you would pay at Sephora. So let's talk specifically about this cleanser. This little sample size right here is 0.4 fluid ounces or 12 milliliters. If in the US you want to purchase the smaller size, which is 1.7 fluid ounces, it's going to be $22. And if you purchase the 3.2 fluid ounce size, it's going to be $34. If you want to purchase that larger size in Canada through Sephora, it's going to set you back $44. So it is on the pricier side, not as pricey as some things, but it is up there. Um, again, it's definitely not drugstore pricing. This is described as a nourishing makeup remover and cleansing balm that gently melts away stubborn makeup and impurities caused by pollution without stripping skin. You cleanse effortlessly and indulge your senses with this bombed oil formula that smells like summer, a bestseller and a lower Best of Beauty Award winner. And they talk about the ingredients in here. So sunflower and ginger root oils gently remove even the toughest long wear makeup, leaving skin hydrated and silky smooth. Morninga extract lifts away dirt, grime, and impurities from pollution. It naturally exfoliates with papain, a natural enzyme found in papaya. So it gently exfoliates to retexture skin and reveal a youthful glow. Uh, the, it's an airy bond oil that captures the spirit of summer with a delicious sorbet texture. I mean, it's oily, so it's not really like sorbet, uh, with a unique blend of essential oils, lime, bergamot, and orange uh, for an exhilarating and revitalizing experience. And it's good to travel with because it's not gonna spill, it is a bomb. I do feel that this has a gorgeous scent to it. Um, I was really trying to place what the scent was, and you don't get it so much straight from the package, but you do smell it when you are putting it on. I will say that they don't use synthetic fragrance, which is great, but some people do react to um, essential oils. So, you know, it's there's still things in here that your skin may not like. 
um, but overall that is what they say about this product. So I thought I would do a little demo of this for you. For those of you who have been around my channel for a while, you know how much I love oil cleansers. I've done a whole oil cleanser review list and ranking. I've reviewed a few of them on my channel. I'll link those down below. So let's get on to removing this huge buildup of makeup I've put on here. I've put on a couple of eyeliners, including one of my longest lasting ones, a few different mascaras, one of which is waterproof, and then a dark liquid lipstick. They didn't put a spatula in this little sample, so I've just been going in and picking some up. With my finger, I've just got a little bit of it there. It really is a gorgeous scent, so let me see. Put it on, dry skin, and you can see it's starting to come away there. <laughs> now I did a huge coating of these things on here, so I'm going to give it some time to sink in. Oh, it's a lot. And this is taking a little longer than it generally takes on my eyes because I usually don't put on this amount of product. But you can see how like gross that gets. Um, and that will happen. I mean, if you ever open your eyes when you're using an oil cleanser or a balm cleanser to remove your um, eye makeup, you are going to see like all this crap running down your face. So you can see how messy I am here. And God, okay, this is why I shouldn't do this in my bedroom on my white sheets. But I'm just going to put a dish towel over my lap and... I have water that I brought in here, I'm trying not to touch anything. Ah, oh crap. Well, that's on my water bottle. There we go. So I just put that onto my hand. You can see how that starts to become milky. This isn't even warm water. This is just cold water I had in my water bottle. And then I'm just going to wipe it off with this dishcloth and there we go. So. The back of my hand is looking a little stained at the moment, which I think is from that red lipstick. <laughs> I feel like this demo is not showing what I experience when I put it on my face, but you can see that it's gone. There's no more of the eyeliner there. And you know, it came off relatively easy for the amount that I put on there. I really do like this cleanser. Again, I feel like that demo was a little not indicative of the experience that I've had because I find this melts my makeup away really well. I put it on, sort of start with my eyes and rub and I can feel like the bits of mascara melting off, melting away. I put it over the rest of my face to really sort of work it around, get the foundation off and then, you know, work it into a lather with a bit of water and it just all melts away beautifully. It has a delightful scent. And for me, the biggest issue with finding oil cleansers that work well for me is not having something that stings my eyes. And this does not sting my eyes. I have opened my eyes when I have been, you know, using this before I've rinsed it off. Um, sometimes my eyes get a little bit of a film on it if I do that, that does happen, but it doesn't last, which it sometimes does with oil, other oil cleansers, and it does not sting. So it's been a delightful experience using this. Um, this is probably up there with the Tatcha oil cleanser as the favorite one that I've tried so far. It's just really, really good. It's really efficient and my skin feels so incredibly beautifully balanced after I finish using it that I feel like there's no tightness to my skin. It actually looks um, very calmed my skin afterwards, like it's not blotchy in any way. I've just got this really nice uh, look to my skin after I use this. It doesn't feel oily at all afterwards after you wash it off and it just feels really good. It does the job really well. I do wish this was a little bit cheaper. <laughs> this is the first balm cleanser that I've used and I really do like the cleanness of it. Um, with oil cleansers, you're always trying to get sort of that oil into your hands and then onto your face, and it can be a little hard to target where you want it to be, uh, and it can get a little bit like, you know, drippy and that kind of thing. So the balm cleanser definitely takes care of that. It just makes it simpler and beautiful and a luxurious experience and just takes all my makeup away and I've not had any kind of reaction to it whatsoever. So for me, this is a big thumbs up. I know I was a little 
critical of some of the stuff about the brand, but I do think this is a really good product. Uh, again, I wish it was drugstore priced. I'm always going to wish that things that are really good are drugstore priced, but a little bit of this does go a long way. And I would only use this on days where I have to remove makeup. I'm totally happy with using my Neutrogena Gentle Cleanser on days where I don't have to remove makeup. But the nice thing about this is, again, removes the makeup really well and gently. Sometimes when I'm using a um, micellar water on a pad, I sort of leave it there to soak for a little bit on my lashes and where I used eyeliner, but it still feels like I'm rubbing a little bit with it. When using an oil or a balm, it just feels like you are being so gentle. You don't need to scrub or anything. You just kind of massage around and everything, you know, gets taken care of. Uh, it's just really good. It's really good and I may end up looking into buying the full size, especially because I think it would last a long time. It's good. <laughs> so that's all for me. Let me know what you think of this if you have also tried it. Um, yeah, and you know, it just takes everything away. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this review. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have other balm cleansers that I should try, I would be happy to. I do love these kinds of products. Leave those recommendations down below in the comments. I do try to respond to every comment that I get. I get behind a little bit, but I do get there eventually. Uh, thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.